Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about attribute binding. What is attribute binding? How to define it? How to use syntax? How to do some hands-on practical examples to master it? We will learn all about it in this episode. My name is Sridhar. I am here to share my knowledge on modern tech stacks as well as backend technologies. Also to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorials, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me and I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please appreciate by liking the videos and also by subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. So far, we have covered around 18 tutorials right from basic introduction, version history, CLI, modules, decorators, components, uh, to directives, to data binding, interpolation. So if you have missed out on any of these tutorial series, you can check out in the playlist I've created on Angular 9 so that you don't miss out on any concept and you master Angular 9 to the core. So we are continuing learning data binding. Uh, we know that data binding is a way to connect the data from component to template. That's one way data binding. Uh, we have covered interpolation and property binding in the previous episodes. Today we are learning about attribute binding. So attribute binding is a technique that allows user to bind the attributes of elements from component to the template. It is a type of one way data binding. OK, uh, just like uh, interpolation, just like property binding, attribute binding is also one way data binding, which means the data will flow only in one direction from component to the template. Now, the, there is a lot of question that gets asked that uh, how, how is it different from property binding, right? Uh, we do data binding, we do property binding. Similar way, we can do attribute binding. So what is exactly the difference between uh, both of it? We will learn about that now. And also we will see some examples in the how Angular interprets uh, the property binding versus uh, the attribute binding. So let's get started on it. Uh, let's do some hands-on examples. And in the course, in the due course, I will explain you how this whole things uh, work together. Let's get started with some practical. So uh, first fire up your app component uh, dot HTML. So we have our app component HTML. We have the app component dot TS. OK, so first remember that we I'll do a quick recap to show you the property binding. So if you remember in the previous episode, we did property binding where we learned about binding the property like ng style, inner HTML, ng class, placeholder, so we learned that we can do any property binding. The property can be anything, whichever is valid HTML property, right? Using the square brackets. Now, similarly, you can do attribute binding also. Now the trick here, remember that attribute, you can add any custom new attributes, right? So you can feel free to add any custom new attribute, not only the existing ones. So these are by default given by HTML, right? So these are all HTML properties, right? But we can extend them by adding custom attributes that we want. Let's see that in action. First, I'm going to create a simple href and give it some, uh, uh, let's say, I'm going to put a href value and I'm going to define a simple URL, right? So I have a um, variable and I have a value to it, which is href value. Now, first I will show you how property and attribute are totally linked. So first I am using property binding and here I'm defining the variable, which is href value. So this will give us the value uh, that is there. Let's see that, right? So here I have a uh, element. I'm doing a property binding, not attribute. Remember, 
and I'm giving the value. Let's see that in action. Okay, so here if you see, you can see in the below that it is pointing to google.com. Here in the bar you can see, it says google.com, right? When I click on it, it will open google.com. Okay, it will go to the google.com page. But now, uh, this is a property of HTML. Remember, follow me friends on this. So I have a property binding, which is means it's an existing property of an element. So I'm able to bind it. Now attribute means I can have a custom property and then I can bind it. That is called attribute binding, right? Let's see that in action now. Now let's say I want to use a new property, which is not there, but it, it is required by my application, right? So you can have a default property that you want to buy or you want to have a new one. So to define a new one, we will write ATTR that is for attribute. And then we will say attribute dot, let's say uh, I'm going to call it update link. Now see this property does not exist on anchor tag by default. This is a custom attribute property that I am defining right and I'm giving it a value I'll say updated link now let's define this value in our app component and give it a value let's call this oracle.com right so here I have updated link which says oracle.com and here I have href value so now if you see attribute dot updated link equal to updated link right now this is not a built-in property this is a new property defined by us for our application okay so that is where uh, it will make it sense and i will just show you in a bit um, this is how it will all work out because it will add get added as an attribute let's see that now okay so now let's go, it's compiled successfully. Let's go to our application. You will see there is nothing changed, right? In the output, you don't see any change because you will see that it is still pointing to google.com. But right click, do a inspect element and you will see that there is a property that got added here. You see, updated update link equal to oracle.com, right? So this is the this is the property which we can access and we can set the value. So you can set anything that you want. Now let me give you one more example. Uh, let's say I want to add a div, or let's say we want to add a new uh, data type. Right? We can also add data form data link equal to updated link. So Basically, you are setting a new attribute, right? So here we'll set ATTR dot data link. Now let's see that in action. So once you refresh, once you click inspect element, you will see that the attribute is set here, which says data hyphen link to the new link that we have provided, right? So this is how uh, we can set custom attributes. So properties are used uh, which are for default right and we can use attribute binding to define custom attributes or the ones that are required by our application that's the biggest advantage of attribute binding so we do it by giving attr we mention it as attr that means it's an attribute and uh, we can give the updated link that is nothing but ATTR dot updated link or ATTR dot data link. Uh, you can give any link you want. It can be an attribute. It can be a link. It can be a, a any anything that you want to update basically. So this is the name of the attribute. Since it's a custom attribute, we are writing with ATTR dot attribute. If you write directly, it will bind only the built-in values, built-in properties using ATTR we are giving custom properties to the elements. You can do it to 
link you can give it to html you can give it to any uh, any dom element basically not only to link you can give it to link you can give it to input you can give it to div paragraph span list image anything right so that is how we do attribute binding in angular if follow this tutorial try it hand sound if you have any doubts let me know i'll be happy to help you if you like the video give like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel to get more updates and more tutorials in the next uh, tutorial we are going to learn about event binding what is event binding how does it work how does it play into the interpolation and data binding thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode